So I did a video uh, last week about Christy Nome, and for those who don't know, she killed her puppy. And after she was done killing her puppy, she killed her goat. And she wrote about this in her book, No Going Back, and really it's an appropriate title because there's no going back after she came out with this. Um, but she defended herself saying, no, 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 it's cool, guys. I also just killed three horses last week or recently or whatever. So she's killing animals left and right, but she's not done because uh, according to CBS News, Governor Kristi Noem suggests Biden's dog Commander should be shot too. Commander, say hello to Cricket. Christy, what are we doing here? So South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem, facing criticism for a story in her new book about killing her dog, suggested that President Biden should do the same with his former dog, Commander. Okay, so she doesn't necessarily want to kill Commander. She just wants Biden to kill Commander. Okay. Uh, in her book, Noem writes about killing her dog. Okay, we know that. Um, a 14-month-old wire-haired pointer named Cricket after the dog had shown aggressive behavior. Noem also writes that if she got to the White House, she would say, Commander, say hello to Cricket. Okay, okay. So that makes it more clear. So what they're saying is, if she were to become the vice president for Trump, she would kill Commander. Because I guess that she thinks that there's just the White House dog that's there, regardless of the administration. I mean, no, it's it's literally Biden's dog. Um, it's a White House dog because there's this tradition where presidents adopt a dog while they're president. Um, but he's going to take Commander with him. <laughs> like, uh, she's just she's chiming at the bitch. She wants she wants to kill more animals. The, the woman is not OK. Um, now, we learned that because I, I brought this up when I was talking about her. Did nobody tell her not to talk about this? Well, apparently her team said, don't talk about the dog killing. It's not going to go over well. But she insisted that she has to talk about killing her dog and her animals, her goat, and wanting to kill other dogs. I just, it's this is just such a wild story. And even as shocking as the details are, as gruesome as the details are, I still can't go, get over the fact that she chose to share this on her own volition, even against the advice of her own staff. It's so crazy. Christy Noem's story about killing her dog made headlines across America, but it wasn't news to people who worked on her first book, where the tale made it into a draft of the memoir before the publishing team nixed it. Then, as now, Noem wanted the story in because it showed a desire... <laughs> She's not fucking going with it. It showed a decisive person who was unwilling to be bound by namby-pamby <laughs> niceties, while others on the team, which included agents, editors, and publicists at Hatchet Book Group's Prestige 12 imprint and a ghostwriter, saw it as a bad-taste anecdote that would hurt her brand. The tale was ultimately cut, according to two people involved in the project. So I was misunderstanding it. I assumed that for this book... Um, they didn't want her to put it in, but she put it in anyway. But in a different book that she wrote, she's written multiple books now. I don't know what she has to say or what the ghostwriter has to say about her regardless. The first time it got cut, but this time she's like, listen, I compromised. Okay, I got rid of the dog killing story. I'm keeping that shit in there this time. It is so fucking weird to me. In other words, they produced a typical pre-campaign book where the first rule is to do no harm. Somewhat unusually for that uh, for the genre, that book's twenty that book twenty twenty two's not my first rodeo. Lessons from the Heartland. This is like an AI generated politician book. Jesus Christ. They all have the same fucking types of titles. Standing my ground. How I fought the left and won, or like fucking America's Grace. Like it's the same sounding titles landed the South Dakota governor on the New York Times bestseller list, adding to the consensus that the Donald Trump devotee had a big future in GOP politics. That's actually pretty crazy to me. So her last book got on the New York Times bestseller list. Who's reading these memoirs of politicians? I've never read one with the exception of Bernie Sanders' book. I guess I'm part of the problem. But that's the only one, only one that I read. And that was after he's running for president, right? It was kind of him reflecting on the 2016 election after the DNC rigged it against him. So I was curious if you had any details what 
you don't read the books that these dipshits are writing to get their names out there because they want to run for president. Those are all boring. But apparently hers isn't because she talks about killing a dog. So there's a couple of media segments. And um, she called off her book tour because every segment that she's done has gone so horribly. Every segment has been a disaster. And she's just like, fuck it. I'm done talking about the fucking book, okay? Everybody's pissed off. You woke libs and conservatives are mad that I killed my dog. Fuck it. We're just not going to promote the book anymore. Because it's just doing more damage, right? So this is courtesy of Mediaite. She called off the disastrous book tour. Uh, You've got even Greg Gutfeld of Fox News poking fun at her. When you have Fox News saying you're a bad person, you know you, you... you, you've gone too far, right? I saw a segment of Judge Janine Pirro saying that Christy Nome united the right and the left because we're all against dog killing. I mean, she has managed to accomplish something that no other Republicans have been able to do. She actually did bring people together in their universal condemnation of her. Before we watch any of the uh, Greg Gutfeld interview, though, I do want to show you this interview from Stuart Varney. Because Stuart Varney, as smarmy and irritating as he is, he actually did a really good job at pressing her on the issue of the dog killing. And he doesn't let up. And she gets fucking pissed because he just doesn't stop asking her about the dog killing. And really, this is the most relatable that I think I've ever seen Stuart Varney because he's asking the questions that we all have. Why'd you kill your fucking dog? And why do you keep doubling down and acting like there's no problem? So let's watch it. Um, they're going to kind of deviate around the three and a half minute mark. But towards the end, guess what he brings up again? He brings up the dog killing again. But let's watch it. Of South Dakota is Christy Noem, and she joins me here in New York City. Governor, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank welcome you to New York. Thank you for having me. I appreciate what? that. In New York. I don't know. I'm anxious to get back home. <laughs> well, well, let's do this first. Yes, okay. all right. We'll, I will wait till the interview's over. Look at, real quick, look at the Chiron. Governor Noem describes killing dog and goat in New York. <laughs> <laughs> she's happy to be here, but she doesn't know what she's walking into. A surprisingly hard-hitting interview from Stuart Varney, of all people. I mean, what's happening? We've got Pierce Morgan doing hard-hitting interviews with Israeli spokesperson. Uh, and then we've got Stuart Varney doing a hard-hitting interview with fucking Christy Nome with the Chiron just damaging her, right? Bringing up the goat, too. Usually they don't mention the goat, but he's mentioning the goat. Okay. In your new book, it's called No Going uh-huh. Back. You include a story about shooting your dog. She's like, oh, fuck. Your Look at her face. Telling you not to put that in the book. I have to say <laughs> the decision didn't go down well. To include the story about the dog, it's not gone down well. Many people are questioning your political future. Well, I don't think you have the facts straight. Um... Excuse me? He doesn't have the facts straight? What did he just say that's wrong? He says that your own team was against this. People are questioning this. Everyone's questioning your future because now, I mean, you kind of fucked that up, right? Trump might not want to pick you to be VP because this is such a huge issue. I have people comment on my video saying that uh, their Trumpy moms aren't going to vote for Trump if they pick her because that's how outraged they are. But she's like, "Mm, you don't have the facts straight. Do tell. Tell us the facts, Christy. This was a vicious, dangerous dog that was a working dog. And I had to make a choice between the safety of my children and an animal that was killing livestock and attacking people. Okay, stop. She's lying, okay? She's the one in her book who said that the dog was untrained. That's because of her. It was 14 months old, so it was basically a puppy. And the reason why the dog attacked livestock is because this dumbass let the dog jump out of her truck. And I say let because a dog doesn't jump out of the truck unless you allow it to if you don't have it on a leash or put it in the car with you, right? But her dog jumps out, starts killing chickens, and then she's just sitting there watching it. She's like, Cricket, stop. And she uses her shock collar. And then finally, she goes to grab Cricket and then Cricket bites her. She's pretending as if this dog was some vicious threat to her children no because when she killed cricket after she got home in the so in the book her daughter's like mommy where's cricket does that seem like a threatening dog right you you broke your daughter's heart and you're like no i had to kill this dog 
for my fucking kids. But what's the excuse about killing the goat? What's the... She just... She has nothing, right? Why'd you kill three horses at the same time? That's weird. I get that they were old, according to you, but you killed them all at the same time? That's sus. So it's included because a lot of politicians run from the truth. They, was it, was it a they try to um, was it hide a from tough deci was decisions. It, it was a very hard decision what, for was me. It, it was, was 20 it, years ago. Was it a puppy? doesn't seem that hard because, again, she was like, I just killed my puppy. Where's that goat? Blah! <laughs> like she's, she's, she did not make it seem difficult at all. No, it was an adult working dog. But it was an 14 months. Adult working dog that was attacking livestock. 14 months old. And, and a killing the livestock. The dog was 14 months old. It was a year and a half old, the dog was, yes. Okay. Yes. Do you think it was good politics to include that story? That has been a story that's been out there for years, Stuart. People, my political opponents. We haven't heard about it. Like, you don't have to share all of that, right? You're going to tell me about the nasty shit you took at a Taco Bell? I mean, some things are better left unsaid. But she's like, you know what? Americans are going to really relate to this story. Uh, you know, we've all killed our dogs at some point, And they're going to think, man, she's really tough. You know, she killed a dog. We need somebody in power who makes the tough decisions. That's honestly what I think she probably was thinking when she chose to include this story. She doesn't realize that people view her as a psychopath. Have used it for years. So I want people to know the truth on it. Do you still and think you what could this be book a, is about? Could you be the vice president book? of Donald Trump? I tell you, the president, the only person who decides that is Donald Trump. Donald and Trump is the only person who will decide who his vice president is. And have you and talked I to trust him? Have you to talked pick to the him person? since the dog story yes, emerged recently? Yes, I talk to Donald Trump often. Abs I can imagine. I can imagine Trump is like, yeah, what she did with that dog was very unfair. I'm not a dog person, but many people are saying very, very mean, too much, and the goat too the goat too like i can just i can imagine trump saying something like that i want to know what trump i wish i was a fly on the wall for that conversation absolutely and i will tell you one thing is that he needs somebody who will help him win and i have told him that i have supported him from the very beginning when he was i don't think you're going to help him win if you're a dog killer in the White House, I was on offense every day in South Dakota. I was fighting for my people. He was helping me. You're always on offense, them, apparently. And I need to get him back in the White House so I can continue to do my job and continue to protect freedom and liberty in South Dakota. So he knows that, that, that I just want him to win and that I'll do whatever I can to help. If you were writing the book today, mm -hmm. would you include the dog story? You know, this is a wonderful book. Did you read the book? Not yet. Oh, you should. The first <laughs> chapter. <laughs> she just dodges that question. Would you include the story today? It's a great book. Have you read? No, nobody wants to read your dumbass book, lady. After the question stands. The whole first if you chapter, were writing it today, yes, I'm would proud you of include this book. the dog story? I'm proud of this book. If you read the so first chapter, it's all about when this rioting started. When you go turn on the news today and all you see that's happening on these college campuses. <laughs> oh, she's and trying what's to change the subject to college campuses. <laughs> she is the worst politician I've ever seen the worst she's so bad like deflection is an art you can't you can't make it obvious that you're doing it if that's what you're trying to do she he's just like hey would you include the story today uh, did you see these fucking anti-semitic college protesters they're insane like oh my god with supporting hamas and the pro-terrorist organizations the first chapter in this book covers the riots that happened at the right. rnc at the white house and how that started with Antifa, and the fact that this president that's in the White House, Joe Biden, will not shut this down, and that they're chanting hatred towards the Jewish people and exterminating them, that's what people should be talking about, Stuart. Yeah, political... Don't talk about my, my dog killing, okay? Talk about the college students who are anti-Semitic. Lady, you are genuinely unhinged, and nobody's buying your bullshit, including this Fox News host. Not even working on him. So I know that I know question. that a lot of people but are using attacks and trying to take me down because they're scared of me. I have an eyebrow twelve. Support. Rightfully so. You killed your dog. Are we not right to be scared of her? I'd be afraid of her. She killed her dog and then her goat, and she killed more animals and wants to kill Joe Biden's dog too. Yeah, we're fucking afraid of you. You're a psychopath. Chains and all you, I've done is one. I've not I win everything that I do. Support and you on shooting the dog. I'm honest. Well, I've heard <laughs> a lot of people. Nobody. I've heard a lot of people that say, listen, this was 20 years ago. We've 50 consumed states, with emails. We've, 50, oh, 50 we've put this on the show. Have a law on we know the you're going to be on, and we've oh, been consumed goodness. with emails saying, I won't vote for this person. I won't vote for Trump if, she hire, if he puts her in the vice presidential spot. 
well, I'll tell you, Stuart, I'm, I'm sorry you're not hearing from real Americans that live on farms and ranches. Because every Stop. He's saying we're getting so many emails from people, conservatives, by the way. This is not a liberal show. This is Fox News. We're talking about Stuart Varney, Fox Business. And he's saying we are being inundated with people uh, emailing us, telling us they're not going to vote for Trump if he picks you as VP. And she's like, oh, well, you just haven't talked to real Americans who live on a farm. Okay, living on a farm doesn't mean you just kill your animals willy nilly. Like people who have farm dogs don't just shoot them and then they shoot their goat because they don't like it. That's not how that works. You're lying to us. You're hoping that we're ignorant enough to buy your bullshit story, but nobody's buying it. Every state has a law in the books that allows for animals that are killing livestock and attacking people to be handled this way. Okay. And so I, was, I made a decision as a mom and I'm a grandma that the safety of my children and the safety of people was, was what I needed to decide on. She, she's pretending like this is a zero-sum game. It's either the dog or my children, and I choose my children. But that's not how you describe it in the book. You wanted to kill the dog. You were irritated by the dog. You said you hated the dog. It was untrainable. You could just give the dog away. You wanted to kill it. Just admit it. You wanted to kill it. You're a psychopath. You have a bloodlust. You already told the truth about everything else. Just go that extra step and say, yeah, you know, I, I like torturing animals in my free time. Basis, protecting them from a very dangerous animal. Good. I'll move on to something much more mm -hmm. positive. Mm -hmm. We've seen you in commercials mm -hmm. for South Dakota. Yes. They're a success. Okay. We're going to fast forward because... This is a little bit of a tangent, but then he gets back to the dog thing towards the end. And I spoke, yes, I do speak to him. May I ask what yes. he said to you about trying to be Trump's vice president? No, it's up to, it's up to Donald Trump. He's the only person who will decide this. Yeah, He's the only him. person who will decide. And I spoke, yes, I do speak to him. May I ask what yes. he said to you about yes. being no, vice president? No, I never, t I never tell anybody my personal conversations Did with Did the dog story president come up Trump. in your conversation I with I talk Trump? to President Trump all the time. <laughs> about the dog? About a lot of things. And right now, I tell you what, he is being persecuted in a political hunt. Trying to change the subject again. Witch hunt in this court case. So I'm proud of him dog? about how tough he is and how well he is doing. Did you bring up yes, the dog? Yes, enough, with Trump. Steward. With Trump. Did you this bring up This interview the dog is with ridiculous what you were doing right now. I don't so you so. need to stop. It is. Okay. It is. We'll Let's stop. talk about some real topics that Americans um, care about. I'm afraid we're out of time. Oh, well, of course we but are. We do thank you for being with us. Right. I know I pressed hard, but that's what people are talking about oh. to this day. Yeah. Got to know. Thanks for joining us. Thank we you. appreciate it. You bet. Damn. This interview is ridiculous, she said. That's funny. That's honestly funny. You should be talking about real things that people care about. Actually, they want to hear about the dog killing. That's what they're e emailing us about. They want to know why you killed your fucking dog. Okay. Let's watch Greg Gutfeld because when you have conservatives and liberals and leftists all in lockstep against you that's how you know you fucked up and i think she genuinely hurt her political career i think that she jeopardized her chances of becoming trump's vp and if he chooses to pick her despite this and i think she this is all speculation i think that she was probably his number one pick but if he chooses to pick her i think it actually is going to hurt his chances because people are fucking pissed this weekend i did something i rarely do I read a guest book for a segment we had planned. It's called No Going Back by Christy Nome. Who knew the title was referring to this show? Because <laughs> today she canceled on us. Yeah. The one time I actually read the book and the author, sorry, I mean the person whose name is on the book, <laughs> cancels, blames the weather. I don't believe it. Wait. I just think it's a little... She actually blamed the weather? No. She's blaming the weather. Oh, my God. She's just tired of talking about the dog killing. Shouldn't have brought it up, psycho. Late to keep her on a short leash. <laughs> I'd hope she'd reconsider, but I'm not going to sit up and beg. <laughs> At any rate, every dog has its day. It's just not May 7th, 2024, and I'm not going to let... Them waste my time, so we're moving forward with the interview. Standing in for Chrissy Nome is somebody she wished she had listened to before she ever wrote the stupid book, Dana Perino. <laughs> so, Dana, a.k.a. Governor Nome, did you write the book yourself? You know, that's a great question for someone who wrote the book. And I don't <laughs> think I will dignify your question with a response. And there are so many other important issues in the world, like 
animal cruelty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they're actually roasting her right now. That's actually the way that she's been responding if you watch more interviews. She'll take the question, deflect, because she doesn't want to talk about this. Do you regret including the dog story? Because it it's been reported you were told not to include it. You know, what I regret is that... Um, I regret that I was in Germany in the 80s doing movies. <laughs> <laughs> I regret that. I didn't include that in the book, and now I regret not including that in the book. I also regret not canceling on you on Saturday, yeah. so I didn't waste your time reading a book that I was not going to come on to do the interview about. Amen. I mean, they're not very funny, and the cackling is kind of annoying, but I do give him credit for roasting her. I don't think there's ever been another book that has so quickly destroyed a politician's career than this book. There really is no going back. Um, so there's two more interviews from Christy Nome. I haven't watched either of these. They're both from Fox News. Let's see. So this one, I don't know if this what this is about, um, but it's I Told the Truth. So I wonder if this is about the dog as well. I'm, I'm assuming it will be because that's kind of all people are going to think about now when they see her face. South Dakota governor and author of No Going mm. Back. See, here's the thing. Jesse Waters, I have my suspicion that he might have killed a couple of dogs. Um, so he might go easy on her, but we'll see. Because, by the way, this is the guy who let the air out of the tires of his co-worker to get her to date him so he could give her a ride home. And that's his wife now. So this dude is a bit of a sociopath himself. You know, he reminds me of Dennis from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Um, I'm worried that he might not press her as hard because he agrees with the dog killing. Uh, but let's 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 listen. Now, what happens if you are debating Kamala Harris and she says, well, wait a second, mm -hmm. you shot your dog and you wrote a book about it, bragging about it. Mm -hmm. How can you be vice president? You know, she is not fucking happy about that question. <laughs> Damn, I was not expecting Jesse Waters to just come out swinging like that. That story was a choice as a mom. The safety of my children versus a dangerous dog that was killing livestock. And she's just she's saying the same thing again, like an NPC. Oh, no, I had to protect my children again, lady. You didn't. Your kids were absolutely upset that you killed their fucking dog. People. So I, this book that I've written is full of stories of my past, hard decisions, and I told the truth. And I think that's very different than a lot of politicians that we have today. A Do lot you of regret? Politicians, you know, a lot of politicians, they would lie if they killed the dog. I at least admitted it. Okay. Telling that story, do you feel like, oh, maybe I should have said it? Do you understand why people don't like that story? Well, everybody's known that story for years. That's what most people don't realize. Is that I've never South heard Dakota, of it. They've used that story to attack me and my political campaigns for years. I wanted people to know the truth. This dog was vicious. It was dangerous. It was killing livestock for the joy of it and attacking people. And I had a choice between keeping my family safe. I had little kids at the time. A very public business of inviting people out to come out and enjoy our hunting lodge and our business. And I don't pass my responsibilities off to anybody. She basically said the same exact thing, almost verbatim, that she said on Stuart Varney's program. Same exact thing. This dog was vicious. It was attacking livestock. Yeah, it was attacking livestock because it jumped out of your truck and you didn't put a leash on him. Else. So that story is in the book because I want people to know that I'm honest and that I, when I have difficult jobs, that I take responsibility myself. All right, so you're standing by the dog story. Well, I'll tell you what, it's the facts. Okay, um, that's it's the, the facts. facts. And I understand that they're attacking me for it, Jesse. Yeah, they are. So they're also attacking you. We are rightfully you. so, I guess actually. you said you met Kim Jong-un. Mm -hmm. Did you meet him? I've been to the DMZ. I've been to North Korea. You know, people, I don't talk she about She just can't answer a fucking question. Leaders. And so uh, when I looked at the book and I saw that excerpt, I decided to make the change to the content of the book, and that's been done. So you didn't have a conversation with Kim when you were at the DMZ? I, when I looked at the book... I saw that. I, you really didn't write anything. It was all ghostwritten. Wow. Lazy. Okay, let's move on to the next interview. This is uh, another Fox Business interview. Uh, Governor, welcome back to the show. Um, a quick comment on what Mr. Trump is saying. It's a disgrace. It's election. Please. So he said... 
stories, stories of painful decisions, oh, hard decisions. Okay, so she's asked about the dog. So the president's right. The country is a mess, and this judge is trying to keep him in a courtroom to keep him from saving America. Yes, indeed. Um, in terms of the book, uh, let's clear the air. Some of the lefty media is going after you. You put your dog cricket down. Pause right there. Some of the lefty media has gone after you. Motherfucker, we just watched like three or four Fox News segments of your own hosts criticizing her. It's not just the left. Found the dog killer defender, fellow dog killer here interviewing Christy No. For a variety of reasons, what do you say? Well, you know, this is a book that's filled with um, stories, stories of painful decisions, hard decisions. And uh, my last life experience and what I think has changed about politics and how President Trump broke politics. What I'd say about this situation was it was about 20 years ago I had to make a choice. As a mom and as a grandma, uh, I had to make a decision between protecting my children and uh, a dog that was killing livestock and attacking people. And I She has this rehearsed by this point. She's saying the same fucking thing every time. If you put all three of these clips together, she's basically saying the same fucking thing. And I had to make a choice between the safety, safety of my children, children versus and, a dangerous uh, dog that was killing, that was livestock, killing livestock, livestock and attacking, and attacking people. people. So, and this is the reason it's in the book. My okay. political opponents have tried mm -hmm. to use it against me in the past. Mm -hmm. I wanted people to we know the that. truth. Okay. And I want them to know that I'm not like other politicians. I don't we try know. to hide the truth, and I don't try to run from hard decisions. I take them head on, and that's what President Trump does, and I think that's why the liberals are giving me the same treatment that they give him. Oh, so would you say that President Trump supports killing dogs? See, this is why he's not going to want to pick her. He'd be stupid to pick her because he's now attached to, to the dog killing. He's implicitly endorsing the dog killing. And I love how all of a sudden she's pretending like it's just liberals attacking you. Okay, Judge Jeanine Pirro is a liberal. Stuart Varney is a liberal. Jesse Waters is a liberal. Come on. I mean, if, if that's what you want to push, this narrative that only liberals are against dog killing, that's going to be great for liberals uh, and the left as well. Um, if you think that conservatives just view dog killing as normal. I don't think many conservatives are going to be okay with that, but please keep talking because you're, ju you're just making it so much more worse for yourself. Much like it. You know, my saintly wife, as I always call her, who grew up part of the time on a ranch, actually. Oh, in oh, France. he's going to talk about how his wife killed a dog, isn't he? Oh, fuck. I'm getting really bad vibes. Ants, as well as Montana, where we were married, said, it, unfortunately, if you have a dog that's not trained and is going out and killing chickens, a working dog is a very bad thing. Now, I would dare say most people in the Beltway media have never been on a ranch and don't understand the working dog hypothesis. But why did you decide to put it in the book? You, you want to make it as a... Okay, okay, first of all, you don't have to kill the dog, okay? You don't, you, you don't have to kill the dog. If the dog doesn't want to work... Let the dog retire. Give the dog to somebody else, okay? None of us want to work, so I empathize with the dog there, okay? But it's clear he supports dog killing. But he's he's not saying this, but this is the subtext. He's like, listen, lady, I agree with you, okay? I killed, I killed two dogs yesterday. Why the fuck would you admit that, though? <laughs> Even this empathizer with dog killer is like, we don't talk about this, okay? We have little blood slides of, you know, the dogs and the animals that we've tortured and killed in our basement, and we keep that to ourselves. We enjoy it occasionally. We don't talk about that shit, though, okay? You don't bring that up on pub in public and in a fucking book. What are you doing? And I wanted people to know the truth. I want them to know that, yeah, I've had to make some tough choices in the past, but I want them to know the truth, and I want them to know that I don't pass my responsibilities on to anybody else. I make hard decisions, and... And uh, I'm not going to ask somebody else to do my job for me. Well, we are. Like you would want to ask somebody else to kill the dog for you. Honey, will you kill the dog for me that needs to be killed? No, you want to do it. You'd be pissed if you did it because you're the one who wants to do it. You have a bloodlust. Again, she also killed her goat. Long story short, Christy Nome is a dog killer. And she's mad that people are mad that she's a dog killer. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. 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 Woke moralist. Woke moralist. Woke moralist. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.